Hello ladies and gentlemen, Conarger here. Welcome back to Formula 1 2017 for the Malaysia Grand Prix, our 50% race of the week. Let's listen to our voicemail and hear where we should qualify, but note that there's a caveat to this already. Caveat? Caveat. Hi, how caveat? are you? Caveat? I'm just One of those words. your qualifying goals for this weekend. Caveat. Hey, we're back down to ninth. Well, that's fitting. Alright, let's head to qualifying for Malaysia. However, before we begin, let me just say that we are going to start last in this race because I have decided this is race number 16, I think, on the season. But I counted it out, and if I took all new parts at this race, then I would not need to take new parts for the rest of the season. We are going to do that here. And when I say all parts, I mean all parts, because I failed to do that in the past. So, for this weekend, we have a new ICE, we have a new everything, which means we'll have extra parts at our disposal. But the rest of the parts seem fine, so I think we'll be good for the rest of the season. At least I hope so. For qualifying, I'm not sure if I'm going to give it a full effort or not. I'm honestly not concerned at all about our little uh, rivalry challenge with Rakanen. The only thing I'm concerned about is doing well in the championship. So, let's go to Q1, but we'll see how we feel. Okay, going out for Q1 here, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to go out for Q1, kind of get an idea where I am in the field. If that idea isn't good, if I don't look like I'm going to be able to beat Rakanen specifically, I'm going to bail on qualifying, because I want to keep time off of the engine and parts here, because I want these parts to last as long as possible. Also, I don't think I'm very good here. We'll hit the track and discuss that. Uh, flying lap. So yeah, I just don't ever seem to have a lot of pace at this particular track for qualifying. I do feel though like I am pretty good in racing here. Once there's other cars on track, I feel a lot better. So, that really played a factor in me choosing this track to be one of the ones to uh, take my penalties at. I feel like I can come from deep in the field up into the points and I probably wouldn't have qualified that well either way. It is weird, I like the track and typically it's a track I'm very good at but in this particular game and maybe even these particular cars I seem to really struggle with Sector 3. Uh, even in the practice programs I was on average a second up in Sector 1 about even in Sector 2, and I would lose over a second in Sector 3. It was very confusing. And there's two turns that seem to do it every time. This one here is pretty tricky, but I've learned where to feather it. Oh, this one's tricky because it's dark out. Yeah, that, that was a little disorienting, actually the sunset condition shaded that turn and I couldn't really see my turn in point. But here's the turn that screws me up. Look how early I was on the brakes there. And then just way messy on exit. It's just a disaster. And I can't seem to get it right. I basically did my own practice program of doing nothing but this last sector practices and I can't seem to get a good feel for it made major setup changes, getting more rear grip on the car, and uh, didn't quite get there with it, unfortunately. I'm hopeful, though, it'll be better for race trim. Yeah, that's pretty far down. I I feel like I should just fail on qualifying. Why, why put the extra stress on the car if I'm not going to be able to beat Rackin' it at all? There's just no need. It's just going to hurt me later in the season. So, I think that's it. I think we'll go ahead and just go to the race. Hi, it's Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. They're hoping for 11th? I have better targets than that. Thank you very much. 
We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we mm, have... I was really hoping Reikonen, for some Ferrari Bottas, penalties today. Max Verstappen and Ricardo. It looks Perez, like it's a pretty standard Hulkeberg, order. Massa and Esteban Ocon, Grosjean, Alonso, okay. Carlos Sainz, and... Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. That was pretty positive. I was expecting a less than positive message here. All right, so we do have new supers to start this race with versus the front of the pack we'll have used. I'm a little surprised, though, they didn't suggest a one-stop strategy. Perhaps the mediums can't go far enough here. Perhaps our car's tire wear isn't good enough for that. I'm not sure. Looks like we're pretty good on fuel. I'm going to add more, though, because I, I really have to push this race. Um, I really think I want to start on the softs and just see if I can make it to... Here, let's, let's go ahead and edit this strategy. Yeah, because I, I think I want to start on this. I liked the softs in practice. Oh, I see. We do this, and then this. Should let us go. Where where do they start to go real bad? Lap 12. All right, and then these. Hmm. Yeah, it is saying that they would be nearing the end of their life by the end of the race. And then it should let us. Six. Oh, I thought it would let us get rid of this stuff. Oh man, now this is a mess. Remove stint, remove stint, remove stint. It won't let me. Why won't you let me remove this stint? Have I mentioned how much I really dislike this system? Because I really dislike this system. Just just let me choose a strategy. Don't don't try to interfere. Uh jeez, this is awful. Um they really just don't think our mediums can last that long. So I guess I will start on supers. I don't really like it, but the information I've been given is telling me that I need to. So... Alright, I'll try and make the most of it. All that and I didn't do anything. So frustrating. Rich. RPM. Pretty good. Let me get the inside. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. I am gonna late break the hell out of turn one. That was good. Oh, the old brake check again. That's a decent start. Good job. Decent start. Ten cars. That's a decent start. You should only be, like, mildly ashamed of yourself, really. Hi. Don't mind me, just gonna drift into you. Literally. Oh, Masa. You were very slow out of there. Is, is that the pass in the grass? Is that what they talk about in NASCAR all the time? Nasty card. Hey, it's Ricardo. It's Mr. Stealing the Headlines of the Summer Break. Everyone thought, oh, four weeks of no F1, it'll be so boring. Well... Sir Smiles a lot has, uh, has something to say about that. It would be better if you done it in the middle of the summer break, though. But yeah, that's a uh, pretty big... Pretty big deal. Danny Rick leaving Red Bull. To go... To Renault. The team, or the manufacturer that... Red Bull's had so many issues with this season. Hamilton Verstappen going at it. Looks like a Ferrari 1-2 right now. That's 
our worst case scenario. Let's see what we can do here. I feel like our car is better in the early part of the run. I don't know if Rez, I guess he locked him up. It seems to be a thing that the Force Indians do a lot. Is lock up. In this here a Vigi game. A little bit less grass this time. Try not to abuse the rich mix too much. A little bit of opposite lock there. For good lamp, for good measure. Good leisure. I hate this turn. Hate it. I beg your pardon? Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, and Hamilton just blew up. Yep. So. Safety car, safety car. And a safety car. No overtaking. Reduce your pace. Keep your delta well. level positive as we <laughs> This has been very weird. Botas's car just reset in the middle of the track. Drop your speed on the track. Try, 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 try. Risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Botas reset in the middle of the track. First happen checked up to avoid his slow his his reset car. And then Hamilton blew up and then a safety car. Did Did Botas's car? I still want to call him Mossberg. Did Botas's car blow up? And that's what caused his reset? Or what? What in the world transpired there? Well... This changes everything. Like, that, that just took us from, like, having to fight for a podium to having the chance to fight for a win. What does this do strategy-wise? I like that even your safety car this thing gets loose there. This chassis seems to be abysmal in slow turns as I'm learning over the course of the season. Well, good time to get a drink. Stay hydrated, I'm still fighting off whatever this not cold, cold thing is, apparently. Is this a no it's a real safety car, it's not a virtual. This must have caught the same car in a weird place. Huh. Uh, strategy wise, I don't think this. Oh, I should leave it. I don't think this changes us too much. It might extend our first run. But our tires like. Careful, I'm gonna lose this spot. That's the go go. I'm thinking about strategies over here. So. Could we? Jeez. <laughs> I'll be honest, I let go with the wheel to grab my drink again. <laughs> my bad. Um. Could we super super soft? I didn't qualify, so I have an extra set of supers. Is that Vettel on softs up there? Is that there Vettel on softs? I swear he is, but I couldn't quite tell. My turn in. I still can't tell. I would like to know though. I think he is. Definitely is. Okay. So he's going for a one. Oh, safety car's coming in. Well, we don't get any choice there and Okay, hitting. let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. I think it's like lap. right before the hairpin here. It's very weird. 
strange place to come back to speed. Uh, I guess we'll stick to what we were doing. I don't think there's any opportunity for us to do something truly bizarre with the strategy. I have so much fuel, I'm going to go ahead and go rich and be ready. I'm surprised Vettel's in the lead on the softs, or the... Yeah, I guess those are softs. Ooh, what a good run we have. Strategy change available to us. Uh -huh. Would you like to keep to the current plan or try the new one? Could you have given me that information in a worse place? Do you think that is physically possible? Lap seven supers, let's do okay, it. It's so hard to do. Deal with the strategy buttons and whatnot while driving. I understand real F1 drivers do it. What I'm saying is they're very skilled. There's a reason Formula One drivers are Formula One drivers. Even the bad ones are insanely skilled. Seem like I quite have Ferrari pace here at the moment. Which I'm surprised by again with this tire differential. I got fuel to burn. I am running probably heavier than they are. That could have something to do with it. They play on straightaway speed. No durs yet. Oh, this is a good draft. Honestly, the worst part of this is uh, getting the lead. Because I prefer following cars here so much. You know it's a weird race when you say, the worst part of this is getting the lead. Gosh darn it. See? What did I say? Concentrate here. Find my marks. Remember the track. Sector 3 is where I struggle. Especially this turn. rather be a little too slow the apexes, but stay on track. Uh, he might go for the dive bomb there, but he did not. Good run down the front straight here. Pit window is open. The pit window is open. So the gap to our teammate is 4.6 seconds. Good run for Malsa here then. So far anyway. Seven and then not fourteen. Fourteen to twenty-eight on softs. Seems doable. I actually really like the softs here. It's very rare for me to say that I like the harder tire. Uh, which It's the middle tire, actually. The medium is the hard tire here, but... Usually I like the softest tire of the weekend the most. But here I think the softs are working the best. Mostly I was overheating. Overheating these, I think. 
pretty substantially. Don't forget, pit in this lap. Right. So we'll put Venel back to the lead. I think the problem is I'm not going to be faster once I get back out because I'm going to be alone. Hope you are fitting this lap. This is going to get ugly. Difficult pit entry to hit. I think I might be like the only person on this strategy. Which is fine. I'm fine with that. Complete, go now. Good stop. I like it because I won't get held up in the pits at all. Hopefully I don't get held up in traffic either. That's, mm, that's not right. I have to use sauce. We have excess fuel weighing us down. Set the okay. fuel mix to mode 3. Let's push. Hmm. I'm worried now that that was a bogus call he just made. So we started on supers. We went to supers, we need to go to sauce or we won't be compliant to the rules. Wow, those salvers are always on sauce as well. Kind of makes me wish I had started on sauce. I think that would have been the smoother call, strategy wise. Of course, I couldn't have known was going to happen with this safety car. Excuse me, pardon me. Thanks for the VRS though. get to like lap 15 or 16 and then go to the sauce, I think. Looks like everybody else came out for more supers as well. Or are we thinking medium? This really, really oh, has me confused. I'm not too sure what our best move here is. I would really love for him to say, hey, strategy change. So we can kind of have an update on what we're looking like. Oh, that was ugly. That was real ugly. The turn in is just so late. We are ahead of Rackin, which is ideal. If we could at least be between the two Ferraris this weekend. I really feel like even though I'm running off the laps here, we might still undercut Vettel a bit. This leaving. Ross up, we're stamping Vettel, still out on socks, that's right. He is doing a completely different strategy from us. Goodbye, Pylon. You're now a Pylon. Green flag. Oh, must have been an accident leaving the pits or something. A kerfuffle. Okay, game hangs. We don't need anything. Any words from you today? Hulkenberg out of the race. Virtual Daniel Ricardo, very nervous. 
as he prepares to get into a Renault next season. Can't be any more nervous than getting into a Red Bull Honda, though. <laughs> Not that Honda's been awful this season. I don't think they're anywhere near the other engines yet. Super uncomfortable. Seems like it's been the last few races. These are all pretty unique tracks, though, on the calendar, so. Impossible that. Oh, Vettel's already fit for his supers. He's on pit road now. We will not undercut him. I actually quite like where we are, though. I could follow him, although I don't know if I will, he's on new supers, but if I could follow him, I think I would run better lap times. Keep this thing on rich for just a little bit longer, apparently not very much longer at all. Safety car deployed. Oh. The safety car has been deployed. Oh. As we catch the pack. So Rackinen just blew a motor. That uh, helps us significantly in the points moving forward. Another safety car has come out. It is lap 11. We barely have laps on our supers. And I don't think it's late enough to even go in for mediums. What this does do is equal out me and Vettel's tires. It's gonna be a long race. This is not what my poor voice needed. Huh. Trying to think. I mean, really. Really, the day for us is maintaining second. Uh, getting the win would be a huge benefit, obviously, but I mean, it would just be a, an unexpected one. I don't think this is one that I circled as a maybe, especially with the planned uh, engine penalties here. Get our drink. I mean, it's helping me there. I'm able to keep hydrated. Hey, why did you clear me out? So we've had two major championship competitors so far drop out of the race. I don't know where Hamilton is. And uh, we're sitting in pretty decent shape. It's been a good day, but there's still a lot of racing. I probably should have waited another day to record this. We're considering switching to an alternate strategy. Do you want to change or stick to plan A? What you got? No. No, I don't like that at all. Understood. Copy that. No. Yeah, that would be awful. Another pit stop? No. Uh-uh. No, thank you. It did now switch us to softs, though, so at least we got that taken care of. And I didn't smash into the back of Vettel trying to get through the menus. At least another lap, right? Yeah. Well, I guess we have more time to talk about this whole Ricardo situation, right? <laughs> I am very interested in it, and I do... I hope it works out. So the Daniel would be what I would consider my my favorite in Formula One. I think many people's. I just didn't ever think the Ricardo for Stampin thing would ever work out. Much in the way that the Weber Vettel thing didn't really work out. They just seemed like 
that would never... It's probably hurting Max's career, and it's definitely hurting Ricardo's career, having them both there. I don't know how exactly Honda is going to do with, with Red Bull moving forward. I figure you might even see Verstappen leave, uh, depending on how things go. Renault has been on the climb, like they've been moving up the field. And Renault seems very committed to make their team, you know, a top team again. And they've done it before. We'll just have to see if this is a... Uh, whether it's an Alonso decision, or whether it's like a, a Jensen Button decision. <laughs> I don't foresee any huge leaps, see another Braun GP happening anytime soon in Formula 1 because the regs just haven't changed very much, but you never know. I don't think anybody really expected it with with Braun, uh, and that was just a you know massive advantage thanks to a rule that they managed to get around basically, or they created some rules. So yeah. It'll be it'll be interesting. I hope I hope the uh, whole thing works out. I wouldn't be upset to see Red Bull Honda do well, and I wouldn't be upset Safety to see Weber or not Weber, <laughs> Ricardo and, uh, and Renault do well. I don't think it's going to shake up the front of the field anytime soon. This is probably our best chance to pass. Vettel. We already did it to uh, Rackinen once. Vettel must really like having Rackinen as a teammate because of the lack of pressure he seems to be under. And I think that's why Rackinen's staying around at Ferrari. He got a better exit. I'm still in the draft, but I'm not quite close enough. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. I am going to extend this run out a few laps, I do believe, for the effect of not having bad tires at the end of the race. I'd rather match what Vettel's doing a bit. Even if that means we don't fully use our softs at the end. I don't think I have anything for Vettel today. Keep flirting with the disaster there. comfortable down here. It's twitchy and understeery. I just have not got something right with my setup or my driving through there. It's probably just another track showing how untalented I am. Vettel is pitting already. That that surprises me. That I did not see happening. That I saw happening. What? What is he doing, though? I guess he's going in for his softs, but he barely used his supers. Like. He only put a lap or two on those. Well, I guess that means I could pit anytime I want to. These aren't even close to done. Such an unhappy car. a ton of time to him here. 
not being in his shadow. Look at Moss up there in P3 on a different strategy. It's not even my schedule time to pay yet. I was going to run later, but I'm not anymore. It's been a weird race. I got a weird cold and it's a weird race. Okay, the pit window has opened. Pit window now open for you. Okay. In we will go. He must have seen that he would be faster. I gotta hope that he's getting caught up in traffic, which is very possible. This field was all bunched together. running very fast sectors. Felt a little better around that double apex. That's another one that I've not really been stellar at. Those moments there don't help at all. Okay, we're ready for you. Box this lap. Game four. That was a bit wide. I'm trying to find a good breaking point there, and I just can't seem to. There's nothing there. There's no break markers. There's no boards. There's no pylons. There's just nothing. Couldn't see the entrance. Dirty. Very dirty. Someone fitting behind us. I don't know, guys. This might be a, a struggle of a, of a podium today, still. Go. At, le at least we're not gonna... We're not gonna lose our butts. It doesn't seem like... Oh, Vettel's already ahead of us. Wow. Yeah, I would say he knew what he was doing, huh? Crazy. See these tires through to the end now. He must have been running massively faster laps. I do like the softs. They're a good tire here. Maybe they're actually quicker in race trim. I don't know. Yeah, there he is up there. I mean, he's in traffic, which is good for us. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near him. Steer like that. He's still up there in 12th, or if he's moved up. Can't see him. My poor. Engine. I've been very hard on it this race. It rich mix the whole race, basically. Perez is way behind us, so that's good for our spacing to the rest of the field. Is that Vettel? It is not, I don't think. Maybe it is. Looks like Ricardo has just entered the pits. No, it's not. So he is way ahead. The gap behind us is 5.2 seconds. He knew what he was doing. I questioned it, but... He seems to have undercut the ever-living shit out of us there. strategy or my inferior driving. We will see where this shakes out. 10 laps 
to go. Okay, place to be catching Erickson here. They do that line, I just can't I can't wrap my simple little brain around it. I was worried about you pitting this lap and running into me as you tried. Double there's action. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? I'm confused. Somebody help me understand. Is Vettel doing a four stop strategy race? Did he maybe he got some damage? Maybe he took a wing damage or something? And that's why he fit again? I. I am woefully confused. Oh, buddy. Alright. Hey, Masa, just go out and win the thing, why don't you? I'd be cool with that. <laughs> what? What? What has happened to this race? Just in now. Fits He's in good shape. That would legitimately be so cool if your teammate you know, moved up the field like you did and you get to see them succeed with you. Doesn't look like he's quite there yet though. I'm gonna be for the fifth. But like Vettel, though. And where is he in the field? Massa just came out third, I think. On newer tires. I think they might be Vettel in fourth. On even newer tires? I don't know for sure. The only thing I know for sure is that I am confused and I need an adult. Nice run. I need to save these tires, not have any sideways moments. That's what really does them in. Yeah, like that. through here, it feels just ridiculously slow. This is the speed you gotta go. Verstappen's not, uh, not making it easy for us. Exactly making any dive bombs either. Botas has just put in a new fastest lap. That was ugly. The rear end of the car is already starting to feel uncomfortable. Look at those rear tire temps. Much higher than they should be. Something is still fundamentally wrong. Right, step out me right in the middle of the double apex there. If 
might be the most focused I've been in a while. Inzika. Flirting with Reagan loose there. How much straightaway speed does that Red Bull have? Usually not as much. Thinking. Right, where I kinda don't want it. Masas really is catching in third there. I wouldn't be upset if I uh, happened to back for Stampin up to Masa here. A 1 2 would be quite an amazing feeling and experience. We could have an amazing result to make up for my lackluster commentary. Real sideways on me there, and it, yeah, made me very timid, and it, it should have, because it was quite unsettled. Oh, it's still very unsettled. be the challenge of the race for me is keeping this thing pointed straight. That Massa scenario is very real. That one too could be the other way around. My worry is that's Vettel in fourth. I get back it all the way up to him. Better. Let's let's sideways. Keep those rears as cool as possible. Setting purples in sector one. That's not gonna help though. Fuel's burning off. Car should be pretty good. You saw it. Completely lost traction there, though. Guess I was a little okay, offline. Everyone in this field has had problems. Unhappy car is unhappy. Massa is here. Good for us, because he's going to start to put pressure on uh, Verstappen. I don't really care about losing points to these two. The only thing I care about is gaining... Whoa, that low wall! Uh, is gaining points on the Ferraris. This seems to be a unique opportunity that has been presented to us, but I guess that's what they get for not taking penalties. You know, they've basically taken no penalties this season as far as taking engines. So I've been being uh, very conservative there. I've, whenever my engines get up to 70%, or even close to that, I go ahead and switch them out, even if I have to start from the back. So I guess that's where some of my points position has come from. We definitely still don't have the fastest car. There's no question in my mind about that.
Wow. The car is actually kinda feeling very good all of a sudden. At least through that section. Or maybe I'm just learning. Still got extra fuel on board. I just haven't had any attacks from Verstappen. Masa sits in the points, but this will certainly be very good for us for the uh, team standings. We have five laps of fuel remaining. If things stay as they are anyway, we're going to have another safety car for this crazy race for all we know. I'm kind of curious, I, I've just, a, a thought has crossed my mind, um, what you think about the fact that in a career playthrough like this, the AI have random mechanical failures. We do have some of that. We have the gearbox issues, and sometimes like the DRS fails, but it seems like they don't ever, they don't ever go as far as to do something to make you DNF, because the the thought of making a video game that then let you, doesn't let you play the video game probably keeps them from doing it, and I, I, I would get that. I would be very upset if I spent two hours practicing for a race, and then went into the race and my car just blew up thanks to RNG. But does that kind of detract from the realism? Should the player car also have that chance of just randomly exploding? <laughs> Random parts failure. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that idea. I think I've been very good on tire management. You're pretty good. For as long as we've run. Still the left rear that hurts the most here. That was ugly. No applause yet. Hold on. Couple laps to screw this up. Stephen's all over me. Luckily, I get a good run under the straightaways, and we got the power. Even on Durs, he's not able to pull next to us. If that was a Ferrari or even a Mercedes, we would be screwed. Close these events. So I'm going to use some rich mix here. So I'd love for him to try to pass me on the left there, hang him on the outside, and let Mazda through. I would really love that. But I'm not going to make any crazy risks here to try and make that happen. Like, just not running enough arrow here or something. But this is. The setup I ended up using was a workshop setup, and from somebody that I've regularly gone to to get a base set up for, this setup actually had less downforce than what I ended up going with. So I don't know. Just be the car too. Maybe the car is just not complying here. But I'm not gonna complain. 
it's taken us to where we are in the field, even if it was through mostly luck. Alright, Masse, get him. Get him. I believe in you. Yeah, just crash the car in the last lap, get a drink cone. That would be fantastic. My throat feels like the Sahara right now, though. Come on, Masa, you can do it. seen him try. I haven't seen him even poke the nose. It's a bit disappointing. Alright, just don't screw it up here in the last sector. Nice and easy. Squirt out of that turn with power. Up there, right before that access road, and rotate. Beautiful. All right, it's all up to Masa now. I don't think he's close enough. No, not close enough. All right. Well, that was a freaking weird one, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what all happened there. Nice helmet. If you had told me uh, going into this one that I would be fighting for Stampin' and Masa for the win, I'd say something really weird happened in that race. Because, well, it's true. It's been coming for a while, this one. What an excellent We already won some oh, this season, you jerk. Now. I always love seeing the independent teams do well. Williams have a long and storied history with that one. And I'm on the podium with us. The Is that the first the time podium. that's happened? I don't think so. Or maybe. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look Pins? in the driver's table. We see Two a new stops. name at the top of the championship table so as we reach the end of the Grand Prix weekend. Everybody, I'm and so now confused. I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, Where? who was your driver of the day? I think I'm going to award it to the Williams driver. Yeah, they did think? a great job at getting the most out of their tires without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The what lead about? at the top comes down after a strong Ooh, weekend from the on. challenging pack. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. It was great having you with us for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Until next time, though, goodbye. Could, could we? No. I mean, maybe? No. Could we maybe beat Mercedes? <laughs> Possible. Uh, there's our first kind of lead in the driver's standings, 16 points. I feel weird about it because because of what happened in the race with uh, Vettel finishing 10th somehow? I don't understand how, only two pit stops. So he, he stopped, he went long on softs, pitted for supers, Pitted after the safety car for another set of supers was out in front of us. All of a sudden, he was way behind us, like he pit again. Something weird happened in the middle there. Like maybe he was in an accident or went off course or something happened. But I'll never know what because anything in this replay is a disaster. And then there's all the craziness that happened at the beginning, too. Wow, this has been truly strange. I'm going to go through the replay, I'll try to find some highlights, maybe, but that will do it for this week's Formula 1 races. Sorry for the lackluster commentary, but hopefully there was entertainment value thanks to the craziness of the races. I'll see you next week, where hopefully I'm back to 100%, and uh, we'll see if we can continue this points lead march, championship march.
I can't explain what happened here. I can't explain it. Just going along and then... Boop. What? I don't know. And then he was fine. No idea.